Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match between Sergo and his undead and Luminous with uh, High Elves. So there you go, you can see the teams on the screen. Um, there is no Tackle Mighty Blow for the undead. They, they've got a Pommer and that's and obviously two mummies um, and a wizard. And the High Elves have got some good players that can do things. And with me is Purple Chest and Muppet Pack. Hello, hello. Hello. We uh, get a power one straight away. And, uh, yeah. Well rewarded for our power one. That's a reasonably safe one because it was in place. There's lots of uh, defense around it. Not that I think these elves are going to be uh, fouling rowdily. They look a more traditionally built elf team than that. Yes. So both front doors have minus movement, and then three of the elves have minus movement. <laughs> wow. The blood step on the far left isn't minus movement, and the ball carrier ghoul isn't minus movement, but the other two are. <laughs> I mean, this undead team is very vanilla, isn't it? Yeah, it's really. I mean, the plus edge ghoul is like the most exciting thing, and you know, maybe the guard ghoul. Yeah, they're all okay, yeah. but they're not. They I mean, don't the blood white's alright. It's sort of undead team. You think, oh, ten more games on this, it could really be something. Yeah. I guess this uh, zombie has taken a lot of MVPs or something with his uh, DP sneaky get and kick. Yeah, what a player. Mm. Yeah, it's a very underwhelming yes. undead team. And then for the high elves, they've got 12 players. And they've got a mighty blower, a strength up, frenzy, movement. The zombie should be one to the left, maybe. <laughs> No, actually. Yes, the, the plus sense strength sidestep uh, frenzy is a very interesting piece, isn't it? Yeah, movement six. But... Yeah, he's yes. one minus movement. The movement up guy is minus movement. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Yep. And then the short hands catcher is also well. my minus movement. <laughs> But he's got he's got good names. He played me in this season, and I I believe he beat me because he had a wizard. But he made some horrendous mistakes. So it'll be interesting to see if he makes those mistakes against Sergal or if he uh, if he makes a mistake free. Because he played well apart from the mistakes he made against me. Like you know he played he played fourteen really good turns, and he dropped two howlers. So he didn't get punished. But it'll be interesting to see if he makes those mistakes in this game and if he gets punished as well. No sure hands on the ball carrier. Had to re-roll that because, of course, this tight line of scrimmage facing the rule of five means not much on the wings and hence a misfield in the backfield would have allowed even these somewhat slow high elves uh, around the side of this line of scrimmage and right into the ball area. Yeah. So a re-roll down already for Sturgill. But he has the ball and he has it up near his line of scrimmage in a nice defensive area. Yep. The high elves could just hit this zombie and follow the pile on if they're that scared of it. But I don't. I'm not sure why they should be, but yeah. if they are, they could. <laughs> I mean, actually, the the high elf team is slightly hittier than the uh, the <laughs> undead team in some ways. I think yeah. this tackle school is scarier. <laughs> yeah, they've got a mighty blood tackle, haven't they? The uh, high elves, so they can... they do, which is also blood step. And then the uh, the strength for frenzy piece. So it's got lots of ways in which this team can hurt you. So he gets a two assist foul on the blocker. Oh, sneaky git doesn't activate. What a shame. <laughs> so let's play. What skills would you put on that zombie instead of sneaky git? Uh, um, if he's already got DP and kick, or are you changing them as well? No, I'd already I'd leave him with DP and kick. That's not terrible. You want to line up your DP centrally, probably, and kick if you want it needs to go somewhere where it's not taking a good skill slot. Yeah. But I'm not a big sneaky gift fan. I hopefully will be in Blood Bowl 2020. It looks an interesting skill there. But... Yeah. I mean, perhaps block on it would just be a you know boring but a little nicer. 
wrestle and kick nation. Um, yeah, but I'd just block <laughs> or guard, couldn't you? You could you you could go with your guard at all. Yeah, could have very good. I guess he gets a sneaky gets a double, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, I yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, probably just wrestle. Probably just be a bit boring. <laughs> yeah, wrestle's not bad. Big old one nation. <laughs> you don't really need the block, he's got five block. Yep, yeah, he's thinking more defensively, but wrestles as good, isn't it? Anything that he wrestles down, he can stand up and kick in the face. I do like the combo of wrestling DP, yeah, so. Yeah, it's, it is nice. Going after the tackle goal, he's the scariest piece on the team. So. <laughs> yeah, essentially, he is, and I'm also armor seven without regen, so it's an, he's a nice guy to. And we can hit it with a tackle mighty blow, so we do. Yep, it's quite reasonable. But no bueno. Mmm. Doesn't dodge away, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have left him there. There is another option for that zombie, just firing it. It's got three COs. It's... Yeah, being fired is definitely an option, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I suppose with Blodge, he's kind of saying, all right, what are you going to do? But, you know, mummies do get two die against Blodge, and that is a... It's about a one in three. I mean, it's not, but it sort of is, roughly I mean, he about that. He could three dice him, couldn't he? He could bring in he the could. other mummy, yeah. two D the other one away, and then three dice him. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Very godlike, this uh, high elf team. And on your team, on your drive, I don't mind, you know, the mummies being in, in more or less the same space. It gives you a really strong area to push through. No, and then if that doesn't work, they can tie a lot of pieces up there and you can, you know, radically shift the rest of the team somewhere else. So I don't mind, I don't mind that three-die idea, Jim. I think that's, uh, that's a good one. Well, it's not happening. <laughs> no, it's not. Um... I mean, there's also some nice space to be made over on the left of this, or, or straight down the middle, but... Yeah. Or you can just base men's and hope to get some removals. That sometimes works. Yeah. Oh, we're going in with the power. Oh. Yeah, the thing is, you, you get to pom, didn't he? He gets to pom. Yeah. And if you can pom, obviously you should every single turn. Yeah. You chose pom. Use it. Don't pom here. You have a broken arm. The stats don't lie. And they spell disaster for people who don't pile on. <laughs> Just a stun. <laughs> uh, oh, the numbers don't lie, not the stats don't lie. Uh, yes, Hotep, we are all team winners, yes, of course, because Sergal is the other one. And it's probably best not to mention what Sergal's famous for, but it's not good. <laughs> If you don't know about it and care to know about it, I guess you can find out, but let's not talk about it. Yeah, let's not spoil the chalice cast. Yeah. So this uh, lineman's getting fouled then, isn't it? Yes, it sure looks like it. Big foul. It's Big a high value piece. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not the highest value piece, is it? But it's 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 nice to foul it, isn't it? Like it's, it's a nice numbers game. There's going to be lots of assists. I... I don't hate it. He's got skills. Might as well use those skills. Yeah, it's it's his best route forwards as he lacks a lot of kill skills. Is to try and remove some elves yeah. through fouling and uh, hope the mummies can get a couple off too. Yeah. And if he gets a kill, he gets an extra zombie. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah which he could use. Always He's not the chance. On the bench. Only the two, and zombies do tend to disappear a little. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky get not firing again, Muppet. You must be... Um, <laughs> Dead <cute man>. <laughs> The double well spent, isn't it? Oh, hey. I'm one in there. Mighty blow! <laughs> oh, there you go. So sadly, we don't have a lot of guards, so I don't think we can hit this mummy. I could just up him. Up for a pal. Ah, but then he's got stand firm, so it's pretty crap, isn't it? Unless you uphill him with the uh, mighty blow piece, and that's kind of risky. Yeah. Um, even then, you've you, yes, you can hit the ball, but in lots of red dice and with no 
reasonable recovery. So, mm, not probably the term to do that. Yeah. And when you say there's not a lot of guard on these, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, there's no guard. There's none. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't exist. We have taken stats and more stats. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a shame, isn't it, on this team? Doesn't look like, yeah. I mean, even one guard would just so massively change it, wouldn't it? Yeah. But even so then, strength all... four, he's got a guard, right? Even if you, even if you're uphill with the mighty blow and you blitz with a guard with a strength four, it's still only a one D into an uphill, and he's got fucking bludge. So it's famous. well, I, yeah. I mean, I, I like obviously strength up. It's a great skill to have on just about any player. There are a few exceptions, but let's not worry about them. And I do, I do like a strength four frenzy. There's so much it can do without assists. Particularly on a blodge sidestep piece, it doesn't mind ending up on the edge, it can dodge away if it's in a problematic position afterwards. But it does just mean you're one strength for there's times you're not gonna be able to use it because of the frenzy, isn't it? Yeah. I think it'd be nice if it was a uh, like a lineman, but it's because it's a blitzer, it's like an important piece for the high elves. So you only get two blitzers. Yeah, and I just I'm not so sure about frenzy. Yeah. It's a double-edged cool. sword. It, it certainly can be. I mean, if used well, it can be game-winning, of course. But like I said, it just it puts some limits on the use of that strength four as well. Going in though, we're basing hard on these ghouls. Yeah, oh, the well, I mean, the, the ghouls are you know the weak point of an undead team if you can get into them, aren't they? AV seven, no regen, <laughs> vital for their ball carrying and their speed. They sure are. Hello, Pendor. Hello, in Arian. Good evening, everybody, yeah. Gathering yeah, quite everybody, gang. Yeah. But certainly the people that say hello. You know, they deserve <laughs> that extra special hello. <laughs> <laughs> the gang's called Muffet. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, Milo, mind bend. I mean, uh, you know, I'm of a mind. I've always said that Frenzy, as well as incredibly useful, can be a nega trade. Yeah. I think particularly newer players need to be really careful with it. Because it can get you into such trouble. Yeah, I mean that is the nice thing, Flicky, as you said, because he's got the mighty blow hitter to do his most of his blitzing. Then the frenzy does become more, more like a wizard, more of a psychological tool, limiting the other person's positions, making them think about it every turn. What could it do if he used that one? Um, so there's a, there's a lot to recommend it as well. This is a tricky turn here, isn't it, for us? It is, yeah, yeah. Because he's... Bolt, he's got a tackle on two ghouls that can only really dodge away, can't really hit them very well. And he's got he's got hits for his mummies, but they're against blodgers. He could pom a guy, but he's you know not a very good guy, but he probably will just mindlessly pom. <laughs> and then, and and then his, just dodge away his, from tackle at the end. Yeah, and his blodge white, which is one of his most useful pieces, if not you know one of the most vital for removals. Is uh, is nailed down. It's a one in nine to get it anywhere, and it's limited in its range. There is, however, a route out of all of this if he's prepared to make enough three pluses. Yeah. I mean, the mummy on the right just needs to move that elf, and then there's a route out that way. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Won't it? I mean, I think he has to make that block first, see if he pals. Well, if you blitz with that mummy, then certainly the zombie behind it, the one with all the ridiculous skills, can come. <laughs> And certainly the ball carrier can. So then you just need to make two more people available, and you've got a nice cage. Well, I don't. However, think he, don't think you'll leave a lot of him. players behind, and then the entire elf pack will be on you. I think he's going to blitz with a pommer. Yeah. yeah, of course it is, because it's a pom piece. <laughs> so despite it being a one die, we do it anyway. I didn't think you'd blitz him. <laughs> I thought he'd blitz the mummy first. I thought he'd block, you know, block of the mummy, push him out, then blitz the defenseless yeah, and then use dude. the mummy's guard in a sensible way. Yeah. Problem is he can't stay where he is either, because elves are getting up in his cage. Oh, so let's get the guard there to hit him. Yeah, he can hit both, but they have... This he one has sidestep. They both have sidestep. Ball's probably going to have to run away afterwards, isn't it? And I'm not sure where it's going to run to. He's just going to power this blotcher, I guess. It's a wrestle. Uh, did he hit with the wrestle? Yeah. 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 So he did free a goal, but it's not. Yes, going he has. Anywhere. He's 
now got three three players, but where do they go? I mean, I suppose over on this right-hand side. We can still maybe power this lineman. Or even a push is... Ish, okay. I mean, it was fixed. To be fair in Aaron, it was fixed in CRP and it was fixed in Blood Bowl 2016. So seeing it will be obsolete in Blood Bowl 3 is, <laughs> is nonsensical because it was it was broken in Blood Bowl 2 for no fucking reason. <laughs> so, there you go. It's crazy. The high elves have like two stuns and they still managed to put so much pressure on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, partly because this undead team is not particularly well developed. It's just a little shy in every department. Oof. And we're down to one wheel on turn three. And partly because Sergal is taking choices as if he's got a much bashier team than he's got. Um. I mean, I sort of get that. He's he's up against it here, so just saying, all right, well, I'm going to pretend I'm a lot rowdier and, and hope that works. It's, yeah, it's, it's not an idea. push square, I don't think. No, it's not. And hence, he's got nowhere for the ball to go, which is why he's having to foul. Oh, no, he's not. He's fouling the nice piece at the back. Okay. Sneaky get. Yes. It does. It does do a thing finally for you. <laughs> It's a glorious game already. There we are. I'm entirely wrong. Sneaky Git is a wonderful skill. And it was the perfect pick on that. Definitely not really bloaty zombie. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay, that's some sort of defense. Oh, man. I mean, don't we just hit the ball here? I mean... It doesn't look that difficult. It's a red dice needing just a push. And then it's certainly one dice. It's not great though, is it? It really is suck not having No, it's not great. Around. I mean, it's an okay defensive shape, considering. Can we get a chain push to push it out towards the tackle? I think that's what he's thinking, but it's hard with the blood yeah. ghouls, isn't it? That makes things... Yeah, they are tough. And again, here's where even a single guard... I mean, can you imagine a guard in between the Bloodstep Ghoul and the zombie on the left as we look? Oh. And then even if you just move them, there's roots to the ball. It doesn't matter where they go. Yeah, I hope I haven't made mine yet, because I was going to have to... I was going to draw it because I didn't want uh, to break the law by using... <laughs> in Arian's face without asking him but I could have just asked him first like I guess you did help <laughs> I feel like the first thing you do is hit this pommer if you power it no you don't even get the assist do you it's one dice at the moment. Which is not very hard to pick it too, but it clogs the position up a bit too, so you need to be certain that's what you want to do. La série d'HBouille. On ne sait jamais quel nabo en bagouzé les auteurs vont tuer dans d'atroces souffrances. C'est d'un brutal. Ensuite, j'ai. Yeah, first thing you do is waste two minutes of everybody's life. <laughs> well, this could be a really key swing turn. I mean, there are ways, as we've said, to get into this cage and attack this ball. And I guess you need to decide if that's something you really want to do. He's not hitting the ball. Not. We're just hitting the ghoul. I mean, I don't hate that. There's going to be some ball pressure. It's going to tighten the situation up even more. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Put tackle on the ball. Yeah. yeah. Most importantly, knocks down his pommer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you knock it down, you know that's where the blitz is going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, seemingly even if it's red dice. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't and I'd be kind of careful here not to <laughs> where it's accidentally... Oh, wow. What an awful reroll and a deserved result. <laughs> a bit harsh. Really? <laughs> You've already got that piece completely monstered. It doesn't need 
to be knocked over. It's not that fearsome anyway, for goodness sake. <laughs> no. I'd just take the one in nine. Why not? No. Yeah, I think I'm just taking it. Like, there's nothing more important to do, is there? Not a re -roll. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, got I mean, three. Really, that's not terrible. I think that's fine, re -roll. It's not. It's the, not I don't think it's a bad. It's not terrible. I just wouldn't have done it. But I don't. I don't think it's worth a re -roll either. No, I don't really worry. I'm not thinking about it at all. Okay. I mean, it is first half. He's got two more. We are virtually halfway through the first half. It's probably going to be okay. And I mean, Sergal's in such a tough position that that and that really would have made it harder. So yeah, okay. I still wouldn't have done it. Or I'd have thought hard first. Oh, I wouldn't have thought at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this was just a snap decision of the ad re roll. Could we have I hit mean, with the block piece that's on the mummy? We had two assists. I think you made. Oh no, wrong. because of the um, because of the guard ghoul made that minus two as well as plus two. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, I only looked at it for a second. I mean, to be fair, he spent two minutes looking at it to make come yep. up with that. Yeah. Another yeah. thing was, was this guy stunned? This mighty bull guy? Could he have stood up? Um, he got, he got. Uh, oh no, he got, he got a foul, didn't he? But, uh, yeah. Sneaky no, he wasn't stunned. He was fine, but if yeah. he stands up, he's getting smashed by the mummy. So perhaps he didn't want to. Um, and was going to yeah. dodge him out later, maybe. Probably should have done something. <laughs> yeah, Jake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I didn't think it was a terrible reroll. So what? How are we? Uh, hmm. I guess we just dodge from tackle then. I, mean, I think we're creating a cage and we're just trying to push all the elves out of it. <laughs> yeah, Dimmy, that was my that was my uh, that was my experience, Dimmy. Um, how, oh, sorry, sorry, Pendor. Well, high elves do have um, AV8. They are they're not unable to play the basic game. How did this undead team reach the playoffs? Because it, it's good for it's good for CCL ladder, right? It's yeah. low TV. It gets matched yeah. against other low TV teams. Hardly anybody has dodge. There's hardly any elves around. So you've just got you've just got TV efficiency. You've got my you've, you've got a palmer which beats enough people by itself because they're like you know he's got money, he's got ghouls. Plus undead are very strong. The ghoul pack isn't isn't bad. I mean it's a decent ghoul pack. Mm -hmm. It's the you know the couple of minus moves aren't ideal, but other than that they're okay, and the rest of the team's solid. It just needed ten more games on. Yeah. I mean anything can qualify for the for the chalice. Yeah. And obviously there's a guaranteed. <laughs> there's there's basically three undead guaranteed to qualify for the chalice. Essentially. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> It's work. It's worked out all right, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, there's hits on the ball if you want them, but they're all at red dice. Oh, oh dear. well, that's I not so good. Thought he was all right where he was, but oh, I don't know. I quite like unless it. you knocked the mummy over, that was not terrible. Even if you knocked the mummy over, it was a one die. I don't know where he could go to improve this. Uh, at the back, like making an eye cage. I think that's it's kind of too easy to hit him at the moment. Can just uh, two team, can he? he? Can just dodge there and two team. Four plus, but it's not hard to four plus, is it? And then you've got two team to two team. Yeah. Pick it up, pass it to the other catcher. Fuck off, GG. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> you better use your wizard, or as I'm winning. Yeah. Well, this is certainly the the key term for that, and I mean I'm very mindful of that. Uh... Plus move, but then also uh, minus move. A catcher out on the left. It's a, a very available piece for out balls, isn't it? Get that deep and chuck it to it. Uh, 
Long story short, dude, you're a dud. He's a cheat. <laughs> and that's it's best, but it's best not to bang on and 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 on He's not, he's not going for the strength four frenzy hit, which I quite liked. Is Luminous better known for his league play than El Hami? He is, yeah, he's a, he's a rebel. Guess he can bring this uh, rackle around yeah, with some GFIs. He's a rebel without a clue. <laughs> See what I did? Rebel are a fine institution about whom I have nothing but positive things to say, and this is a statement made of my own free will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 yeah, as I say, against me, he played, he played, he played for in good terms. I'm confused why we're not hitting this ball carrier, Jim. Have you got a reason for me? I think he's going to do it with... I mean, he he has to be trying it, doesn't he? It's yeah. just there. Just sitting well, he, there. Saying, well, he's moved this ball. guy to the right square. He's moved everyone to the right square, except he hasn't moved the strength four guy to blitz. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> that. He stood him up already. Oh, okay. He's coming with the rackle. No, he's... I think the... he changed his mind because he didn't. He didn't want to do the GFI when the reroll was gone. Right. Okay, that makes some sense. But this was this was right to move this guy here. Then you had the four plus dodge. Yeah. With a reroll, two D, and then you push him. And then he's got the guard in, but you've got your assisted draw, two D him again. Then you could have powered him, you know, on either of those dice. They get a great scatter, and then you've got a blodger come around and pick up the ball. And everything would have been good. I think that was a really good move. I don't know, okay, 75% dodge, but it's not terrible, but, is it? No, and because most of your L's, because I would have done it, you know, those would have been my first two actions, put the assist in and then try the dodge. Yeah. Uh, put the assist in, do the dodge of the mighty blow piece, and then try the dodge. Um, most of the rest of my L's are, you know, back in my half, ready to put a defense up if it fails. I thought it was almost a no risk the shot. Yeah, he just, I think mean, he just chickened out when the reroll was gone on the dodge, because he had to GFI as well. But the yeah, reroll isn't gone, I mean, the ghoul's down, so it was a, it's an auto reroll for its built-in dodge. No, the, li the lineman failed the dodge. No, he was going to oh, come yeah, round, okay. he was going to come round with the back with the uh, Rackler, I think. I think that was his plan. Right. Yeah, okay. Or maybe just leap in with a Rackler. Because the strength four had already stood up, so that definitely wasn't the plan. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was going to put the lineman in for the assist and come round with the rackler with yeah. a few dodges and GFIs. Yeah, but because he used the because he used the rear on the dodge, he didn't do the GFI and he didn't didn't do the hit. And I felt the one in four fail was simpler, and better, and committed less L's. Yeah. Giving you the you know the ability to respond if it works, but also back in a defensive shape already if it doesn't. Seems stronger to me, but I'd have to have another look at it all. And now that's not a terrible outcome for Sergov, is it? He's got his ball surprisingly not knocked over. And he's got some pieces out on this side that can sort of defend it, maybe. Yeah. I mean, there's work to be done on the strength four to get enough pieces up there to really make it safe. But it is a, there's certainly a possibility, which didn't look very likely a couple of turns ago. He's going for the eye cage again. He is, yeah. This is looking rough. He's Who's looking the really rough blitz? now, isn't it? Who's the Palmer going to blitz? Oh, God. Not even an eye cage. Oh, no. Four. Well, I mean, if they knock the strength four over, then the ghoul that's uh, on the ground next to it can sort of get in the back door and uh, with a single go for it, provide some cover to that ball. The, uh, Rackler, Around the front looks very hard to close yeah. up. The Rackler can get in with one GFI and hit the I ball. Know. Yeah. That. I mean, due to the lack of guard, really hard to get two guard. Not impossible, but challenging. 
which is why he has hit the Rackler. Just, uh, I think he's going to advance as well, just to give it that hard yeah. 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 Not terrible. He's got to go for the 4 plus 3 plus, hasn't he? And then two GFIs? Oh no, this is horrible. <laughs> he's just dodging. He's not hit. Yeah, I, why why not hit it with the mummy? What? Because it's side it's step. Side step. It's yeah. But, yeah. You know, it's still um. Better chance still about a one in three of a pow and turning that into a much better situation. But I suppose the four plus three plus two plus because you need to go for it as well would have solved. Yeah. All if you push him, if you push him, then it then you just fucked, aren't you? That's yeah. The then you are completely fucked. <laughs> that's that's the problem. <laughs> You see, you probably are anyway, but... I mean, now we can knock, knock the mummy over and we, we're golden, aren't we? We can put one in round the back, one in round the front. Knock mm -hmm. this ball down. Yeah, and obviously the hitting the uh, push jump means we don't take an armour roll on our goal. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. But he was probably right. The 4 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus was probably a better way to get this ball a little bit safer yeah i think i think it was safer yeah it's just too but easy just literally all we've got to do now why are we we didn't need that did we you already have to no, I no, need that. Hitting from the worst direction <laughs> yeah with a piece that would be more useful later in the turn i feel but oh, there yeah. we are not a fan of I that. thought the blocker that was touching the mighty blow, the, the piling on guy, was the perfect guy to hit with. It also mm. leaves so the what if he gets on pushes? that for later in the round. Mm. What if he gets pushes on the mummy? Uh, okay, yeah, that's a reasonable point. Then he pushes him to a better place than this guy would have pushed him. Or, or, I mean, this guy can only push him to one square, and he could have pushed him to the same square, so... Yeah. If, if he was going to do this, I would have uh, put the catcher above the uh, reckler so he can chain push. If he gets pushed. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good point. Now the simple cancel. And, uh, I mean, the advantage of this plan is we've still got a catcher free for the... Although, I think we would have had anyway. We've got a catcher free for the um, the recovery afterwards, don't we? Yep. So it's just a GFI to get 2D with Rackle. Pretty good. He will make us wait another minute. <laughs> got to uphold the rebel traditions. <laughs> we need to, uh, need to have a good look at um, some of the emptier parts of this, the pitch that we've not been looking at. We could also two dice with the push strength and uh, hit with mighty blow from the back. You are yet to show us the undead uh, tackle uh, touchdown area, Jim, for example. I've just gone and had a look at that. That's perhaps what he did. <laughs> there we are. We get it on the second set of dice. Down it goes. Off it goes. Plus Edge might never come back. <laughs> oh. He catches him. Oh, man. We well. may get surfed with the ball. Nah, I don't think he's going to be able to. No, I think we could probably make that more or less safe. Yeah, everyone can dodge off. Maybe like three people protecting Plus him. Strength can hit the zombie and this guy can just come at the back. I don't know, I think I'd rather just dodge the plus. Just dodge him I, yeah, I'd rather not be there. Just put some more noise around where this ball carrier is. Yeah, or even create a scoring threat because. Oh no, he does go with the hit. Okay. I think he has enough players to protect. Him. Yeah, I, I think he does too. I think this is. I think this is the end for Sergal. Good. <laughs> I don't see him getting Luminous's ball in the second half. Uh... I mean, there could be a wizard here to save the day. Of course, yes, I had forgot the wizard. But, but then the wizard's gone for yeah. your offense. So you're kind of happy. Well, against elves, it's often better to use it to secure your offense because the odds of it turning elves over are not great, even with a wizard. Mm. Yeah, it's with really Batman. You can to... see him. The, the picture of him there is JFW wrestler. <laughs> Deranged jester. <laughs> he's only half the size of me and Jim because he's he's genuinely only half the size of me and Jim. That's... Yeah, maybe true. <laughs> Certainly in girth. <laughs> yes. Why is why have we not come to help? And waistline too. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I guy. really don't. We've decided to stay and mark some blodge ghouls. Yeah. 
which this seems square. unlikely to be helpful. Yeah, surely this square that I'm highlighting is the, the square to go to. Like in between the, the lineman and the, the strength up guy, you know, like screen. Yeah, yeah, I like that square a lot. That cuts half the undead team off from being any relevance at all. Yeah, but now he's got a... Fireball does come out. Oof. Well... It was not a PC fireball. I can <laughs> tell you that. No. And, and now he's got that thing open, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI, or, or a dodge and a GFI in surfing. Dodge one dice? I mean, it's worth yeah, a Yeah, I don't hate the dodge one dice. Yeah. Add one D, add one D with the uh, white first, so that you can be two dice. <laughs> That's not awful either, Jim. Then I guess you, your white's responsive, isn't it, if it goes somewhere? Yeah, you need someone to recover the ball. So yeah, move your, zone, move your mummy out of the way. Somewhere. And Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, yeah. That, he's just gonna dodge with you. Hey, that's okay, isn't it? That's easy. Better, that was my it? original plan, but yeah, um, was it was dodging off tackle, so it was a 3 plus, but you can afford to re roll it. Oh, yeah, probably not bad, is it? <laughs> Get the injury. And the ball's out of there. Oh, wow. It's, Perfect oh, this, scat there. This poor zombie's one square away from scoring. <laughs> Perfect scatter for the elves, isn't it? Pretty good. This plus movement catcher can go pick it up and yeah. not move because he's also down movement. <laughs> plus minus. I guess we, as the elves, are just looking at the scoring for it now. Oh, dear me. The wizard's gone, we're not bothered about anything else. <laughs> it's pretty perfect, Timmy. But yeah, okay, the strength for catching it would have been, would have been better. <laughs> Yes, that. There is many. That would have been nice. Absolutely perfect scenarios, and this was close enough. <laughs> I'm not sure there were many good squares that could have gone to. The undead are in such disarray that, other than landing between one of the ghouls and the mummy, for example, or something. Yeah, like this ghoul with the the block size that ghoul could have caught it, and he runs at the left. But that's about and it. if you look at where it went out, if it comes straight in then it's falling into Elves' area. And if it goes diagonally in either direction, it's either where it is now or up where the Strength 4 is. So I'm not sure they were bad options. Yeah. Remember, it isn't random. It's on one of three lines that the ball comes in on. Now, as Luminous here, we're, we're looking to score still, aren't we? Yeah, we want to score. Because then we can do a fast score and be 2 0 and just be happy as days. Yeah, and that's the right move with the ghoul. That's the catcher. That's the biggest worry. And also, it puts the uh, the other lineman in a sort of um, sort of cage between the zombie and that ghoul. Yeah, and that's nice, pinning the, uh, pinning the rackler to the sideline, isn't it? Yeah. Which makes that zombie harder to move, making the catcher harder to free. It's all, it's all some nice moves here. Yeah. Uh, movement nine catcher is sexy, Dimmy, but it doesn't exist in this game because the plus movement also has minus movement. So there you go. So if it does get free and pick it up, it's either stuck in the end zone picking up or has to go for it to leave there. Mm. It is one of, of five pieces on the current uh, two teams we're looking at, Dimmy, that is minus move. None of which, of course, the Blood Bowl 2 client will show you. But three of the elves are moved, busted by one, and two of the ghouls on the undead team. Although I'm not sure they're still on the pitch. Uh, one is. One is, and one's The guard, guard man is minus movement. He's just got a pal here, hasn't he? This is... Uh... Oh, he had a tackler. He had a second tackler. Oh, he should have blitzed with him, shouldn't he? 
dodge out to yeah, I feel oh, like it might blow. Well. It's got to be worth it though. He's a sidestepper. Yeah. You could have no. You could have punched him and then he then he could, okay yeah. So what you have to do is this Lino comes in to assist the the catcher and then he blitzes with his with the blitzer doesn't he want to then he can because then he could go this way three four so yeah he's fucked it. <laughs> he's he's got rid of all his tackle options. Yeah. Yes, so I, I, yeah. I don't like that as a first action at all in any way. I um, guess. We could blitz the zombie off this line when the line can go pick it up, but it's a GFI. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? I mean, I think we have to use the other catcher, don't we? But then, if even if we move the ghoul, it's sidestep, so it's you know. Yeah, that's not, why not want... using one of our tacklers on it seemed um, it seemed a poor choice. It seemed yes. wrong. Shit and wrong. <laughs> Or we just power it? Yeah, just get it power. easy. There you go. Just roll power. Game when that happens. Now you've got to hope for the misfield and sidestep near the ball, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you probably you only score for it. And he stopped. Still yeah. could be relevant in, in turn eight. He can get to the end zone in turn eight to be passed two. Yeah, I think I want this uh, lineman that blitz to come in front of the goal. Or we'll run back. But of course, the stun means there's no pressure on the pickup now. We can pick up and stay exactly where we are this turn. We can yeah. stay behind the touchdown line. There's no blitz fear. The frenzy blitter making himself the scoring threat by punching things. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, it's, you know, he does both of those. Little surprised he didn't choose the uh, the push there and rely on a power on the second set. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> we have the ball, though, Glorious. But Can it is still in range right now, isn't it? It's two go for it's away because it's a blitz piece, of course. Oh, no, because it's another one of the miners moves. So yep. it's a blue six blitz piece, so it isn't in range. No, but yeah, it's in range. It's still turn so six, two, we're just, fine. Yeah, there's two more yeah. turns, so it's... He's in range. And if we, yeah, if we can get the ball to him, he can get miles away from that zombie to the point where the zombie can't even throw things. Oh, I play on Xbox! Oh, no! Oh, Goliath. He's in Goliath. He plays on Xbox, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, we want to stop the movement goals. Glorious. No, yes, I won't can. give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Four. Thank you very much, Goliath, for the gifted sub to Hotspur 12. Oh, don't say that in front of PC. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Rock hard cool. today. Let's hope it's a reference it's to a historical prince <laughs> rather than a poor choice of football support. <laughs> <laughs> so we have no reels for this relay for the world, for the elves. So we could still not score. Re re rolls are for the weak. Yeah. Just, Just elf it. Oh, Goliath. Oh. Oh, they certainly weren't particularly good yesterday, Goliath. I will <laughs> give you that. But uh, tread carefully, sir. You are talking about the world's finest football team. Yeah, Goliath, Jimmy and, and Purple going to have a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Up the arse, Jimmy and PC. <laughs> and Calcium as well. So at least one of the three of us could take Goliath. Oh. <laughs> that needs you all. Oh, oh, we do want a GFI, and it doesn't matter what we do anymore. Well, I think all three of us could take Goliath on. I'll take him on at Blood Bowl. Kelsey can take him on at uh, beating up children. <laughs> and maybe he can win a debate with him. That's uh, <laughs> it's like arguing with a cooker, but... That's how you win, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Brilliant. 
I mean, Calcium could probably beat Goliath up if Goliath agreed to sort of you know, hit from his knees so he looked quite a lot smaller than Calcium. <laughs> He's used to opponents being about four to five foot tall, isn't he? He is, yeah. <laughs> Goliath, I am very passionate about my football. I'm a season ticket holder at the Glorious Arsenal. But I have long ago had to accept that not everyone is as sensible as me. <laughs> so, if you follow another football team, I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> oh dear. Well augmented beard, the highlight has been someone being called Hotspur. <laughs> 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 to be honest. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we're uh, we're not doing anything this turn, are we? We're just advancing the catcher. I think we hand off to the other catcher. No, we're we'll definitely not doing there. anything now. Yeah, would have handed off that catcher if he's in range. And now we're not, obviously. Okay, and then, yeah, use yeah. that to ferry it up. Okay, yeah. and just run away with him into space. Yeah. But we've still got two scoring, one scoring option, because the uh, strength piece did not do its hit to get into range. Yeah. So, Sir, we've just got to worry about this one catcher, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we can palm it with double GFIs, but we have no rerolls. Mm. And we have to power it because it has bludge and it has size step. <laughs> so. And the strength 4 will hit off anything basing it. So. Yes. So he's still useful. I prefer soccer to football. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a time that I used to like football, to be honest, but now I just don't give a shit. I don't get ragey about that either, Johanian. I mean, soccer is a shortening of association football. It's a perfectly correct name for footy. It's fine. Yeah. People shit just dislike it because Americans use it. And for some reason, that means that we have to say it's shit and wrong. Yeah, it's shit and wrong because <laughs> Yang say it. <laughs> so we can score, yeah, but, you know, he's not going to. <laughs> So, so what? We do some brave dodges with this goal, surf the catcher, and the ball yeah. somehow scatters in our hands. Yeah, or, no, we do a 4 plus 3 plus, and, and we surf the catcher, and then we worry about getting the ball to that goal which is now in the end zone afterwards. Yeah. What we don't do is move everybody else first. <coughs> we can't respond once we've surfed the ball. I mean, I didn't hate the move to the, to mark the catcher, and I suppose the move to mark the strength four is okay too, because that's how he frees the catcher. Yeah. But now it's the time to be ballsy and do a four plus three plus two plus two plus three plus that could save him completely. He's, He's doing, it. doing it. He G5 gets there it. and fails the GFI in the second. <laughs> but I respect the attempt. I thought that was the right plan. Yeah, yeah. I think you just go for that first, because if you're not doing this to win, then you're probably not winning. Well, I mean, nil-nil at the half is much better than one-nil down, Muppet. I, I'm <coughs> fairly confident in that as a statement. Yeah. And this it does make the nil-nil more likely. Um, and he still had, didn't he? Yes, he still had a, a dodge white that could have possibly got to the ball if he'd pushed it out and thrown it to that ghoul, but... Yeah. Right, well, so very committed. You tackle mighty blow this white... Yeah. And then pass to the catcher. And then hand off to this catcher. And then score. Yep. And, and then you, say... don't worry about, you don't worry about the ghoul because it just turns a 1 in 36 fail into a 1 in 9 fail, and that's kind of alright. Did you say, haha, I am elves? Yeah. That's the important part. Is it? Wish I'd kept yes. the reroll and didn't spoon it away on turn four or whenever it was. <laughs> oh, what well, that uh, reroll that Jimmy said he would do instantly and not think about it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, one I'd like. I, I didn't say I wouldn't regret it later. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big money moves. Two plus, two plus. And it, it fails but works because of catch. Catch is a good skill. Oh, now the one in one. nine. Which one in nine? Oh, oh, he could have caught it again. I thought he was going to catch it again. Oh, yeah, nearly. But no. So there we are. It is nil nil at the half. The, uh, the ghoul marking that uh, catcher did just enough. The tackle ghoul stays out. That's huge. Oh, actually, no, he didn't. It was a straight one in 36. It was a snake. 
So even if that ghoul hadn't been there, it would have failed. Yeah, and he couldn't clear them both, could he? So it was no. right to it was right to mighty blow tackle the uh, the white. Yeah, bit. because you know trying to chip the piece, it's a it's a nice piece to get rid of that lodge guard. Yeah. Um, and hitting with mighty blow, which as we all know is how you should hit everything all the time, every single turn, or you're a shitter. Not with frenzy. I thought you hit with frenzy. <laughs> So a good attempt there from uh, from Luminous, who I do feel, despite the um, not hurried pace, is coaching better of the two so far. But also, then he has a much better team. So yeah, I think both teams could have used some more games, to be honest. I think I, maybe uh, yeah, Luby's team had too many games, and that's the thing. I think he had. A, I think it was better. Like you know, with had guys and guard guys, and, and he died. <laughs> lost the time to play Ryan. Yeah, I think it's more that he's played too many than <laughs> not yeah. enough. Uh, okay. But the problem with throwing more games on the tie-off team is what you're really chasing here is a guard, and yeah. that's not automatic on a level up. So it might be two games, it might be thirty-five games. You just don't know going in. Um, and while he had a stable team with lots of decent players that I mean move busts are fine but nothing beyond that I don't I don't hate him coming into the cup like this but yeah this undead team would just look half cooked don't they yeah Death. although good ghouls and again you know a good ghoul pack can do a lot so I guess that's how he's got it here and uh, the reason for the French uh the reason for the French is not because I was born in France or anything. <laughs> and Dimmy hasn't lived in France. He it's... totally has lived in France. And he has lived in France. Get away from <laughs> you don't get to define how he uses words. Yes, um, I do. No, the reason for the French is because Jimmy's quite racist and he still finds it amusing when they go French. And he goes, oh, he, oh, he, oh, he, oh. <laughs> and then Jimmy laughs out loud for about an hour. <laughs> if you didn't just completely do what I'd said, you'd have got away with just thinking I was taking the piss. But now everyone knows the truth of that. Um, and also because in Jimmy's defence, if you're going to play as much Blood Bowl while hating it as he does, then the last thing you want to do is understand what the utterly utterly fatuous commentators are saying exactly that's the reason. i mean some people just turn them off other people turn them to french yeah <laughs> the madonna with the big boobies J can yes did, did you not just think whilst that was running on bbc one that this was a world you really didn't want to be part of <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I do remember Alo Alo thinking, what the actual fuck is, is this? Yeah. Is this real life or is this just fantasy? <laughs> this is Saturday peak time. This is what the people of my country want on their television. <laughs> Jesus. Can I get off? <laughs> there you go, Sambita. <laughs> oh, it's not glorious. Oh, oh, quick. That's, that is just objectively, provably untrue. <laughs> it was inglorious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Squirrel Dude, I know what you mean. If you don't like things here, then get out. Um, but of course, if you don't like things in, say, Iraq, then stay. Certainly don't get out and come to England. <laughs> <laughs> it's really important that they stay and make their country better. Um, but it's really important if I don't like Britain that I leave. So, <laughs> um, and it's perfectly possible to hold those two views at the same time. Mm. Without ever worrying about hypocrisy, because that's a complex word with multiple syllables. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Maybe we will. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I know Fugonomics. It really did not the just the name of it warn you this is not somewhere I need to go. I've only heard about that show, I've never actually tried to watch it, and I refuse to. It's you know how the title makes you think it's gonna be really tacky and exploitative and just mock idiot chaps. Okay. Yeah, try frenetically to rut. Yeah, it's it's that. <laughs> you, you're right. <laughs> Oh dear. Thank you, John's pain. Glorious. <laughs> yeah. We have a riot. That could be 
the funniest thing the funniest thing about naked attraction is it doesn't matter what the bloke looks like <laughs> the woman always goes for the guy with the biggest cock <laughs> is that true yeah brilliant. if that's true it's brilliant <laughs> best show ever <laughs> Yeah. Literally, they do. They talk all this shit and everything. And they, <laughs> they just pick the, the one with the biggest cock. cock. <laughs> and of course, with the problem of showers and growers, doesn't mean that angry it's going to be big. Or do they show them angry? They surely don't show them. They angry. surely don't draw them angry. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We don't need to go further than that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Doctor Buggies. Yeah. No, it's it's not allowed. That is it. It's not allowed to show, to show them angry. <laughs> no, you can't show them angry. Oh, hey, to show them calm. <laughs> Big up, growing nation. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. And he's looking like he wants to dacker, but has not learned the uh, has not learned the the it joys of dackering yet. <laughs> I def you know my feeling on that. I mean, I prefer if you're going to do a withdrawn offence, and I think elves really should. I much prefer this style of doing it. Um, keep the ball somewhere which tempts them into trying to make aggressive moves. Try and I mean, work a space as soon as possible. Get around them, and then what I call reverse the field, where all of your team. Is between their team and their touchdown line. <laughs> yeah. yeah, HTK. I had to lose it with Jim Suss, right? We've got the uh, we've got the uh, Among Us on again, and, and something had to go. I, I had one the hold the keep shit. offered to me, uh, but I was informed it might be banned by Twitch for being racist. Uh, yeah, it was just a pile of poo in Italian colours. Yeah, it was. F it's fucking brilliant as well. Like it's completely fucking brilliant. But yeah, but you I, can't have you it, know, can I don't want to wind Twitch up. I'm new to this world. Yeah. Don't be a chubman and get banned. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't. I don't want to be. And I mean, I, you know, I I won't use that name. I do call it the withdrawn offence or the coward offence. <laughs> um, because that's what it is. It's more accurate, and also because Matt Dacker. The reason I do it isn't just because I don't like Matt Dacker, though. I'll be quite honest, I don't. <laughs> um, and I don't think he deserves things named after him because he's a worthless coward of a human. <laughs> See how you really feel, PC. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying to soft soap it, but that's, that's a clue as to how I feel. <laughs> um, but it's also because, really, to call it a Dacker is slightly a misnomer because <laughs> Matt Dacker will do the withdrawn offence with chaos, let alone with elves. <laughs> Um, if he feels he's up against someone even vaguely his equal in terms of coaching. Wow. So it's it's slightly a different thing that he does, which is just run away. Right. Uh, so that's why I don't use the name. It's not just my dislike of him. It's that I don't feel it accurately describes a sensible move to take less attrition and look for an opening late in the half. Fair enough. Whereas what he does is run the hell away. So a bit like that guy who played, uh, who, who been on CCL, who like just ran away from a uh, Clawpon and like dodge, failed dodges on purpose and stuff. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Except he doesn't do that because the grass can hurt you too. He just runs away and hides in a corner. No, there was, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Matt Dacker doesn't. But there was another guy who did it, didn't he? And he like he got his players surfed on purpose and stuff. Mm. Can't remember his name. But uh, but hiding is is fine. Like being a coward is fine. But that was just idiotic what he was doing. I can't remember his name. I yeah, I mean, uh, one of my big problems with Matt is that um, I mean, there's lots of others like the fact <laughs> that what he'll argue on a Tuesday is not what he'll argue on a Wednesday. It all depends what's beaten him lately as to what is strong and what isn't, and things like that. So he is a malleable hypocrite in his views of Blood Bowl. Um, but it's also that genuinely he actually could be a reasonably decent player if he just had a bit more of a backbone. <laughs> uh, but there's a few games I've played against him where as you start, you know, well, this is a draw because he's not going to try and win. Um, so is it a draw or is it, you know, a win for me? Those are the two options here. And that's, uh, I hope no one ever starts a game against me and thinks that. Mm. You shouldn't because I'm going to try and beat you no matter what I've got. <laughs> It's always a chance. 
Yeah, there's always a chance, and uh, no help. <laughs> Oh, um, <clears throat> I mean, in a world of theoretical possibilities, yes. There's always alternate how, universes. Don't how old do you think you're going to live to? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you've got, you've got some time. I mean, you might need all of it, but you know, if you play six, seven hours a day until you're 80, 85. He's it's dead, it's... Jim. Well, now, hurrah, something's <laughs> happened. We can talk about it. We <laughs> kill, Jim. And a new zombie for the undead team, which is getting bigger and more powerful as we speak. Oh, baby. Wow. That's a death. Ding, ding. Uh, are the high elves going to... He's dead, dead, dead! Dead! Oh! Uh, to quote another streamer. Um, it's only a rookie lineman. He's not going to care massively, but it's numbers. As in, they're now smaller. It is a numbers game. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hancock about to get banned from the naked attraction. <laughs> Kicked off TV. I mean, if naked attraction's on TV, I'm sure nothing can get kicked off TV. I'm not allowed to be angry, though. You're not allowed to be angry. That's why oh. PC's not on, because everyone else <laughs> <is> just... Because <laughs> I sometimes get angry, yes. <laughs> Because I'm very much a grower, not a shower, so I wouldn't be picked. <laughs> oh dear. Dear me. <laughs> Neither a grower nor a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Everyone's born differently, it's fine. Yeah. I always it's think not it's the size of the boat, it's the motion in the ocean, and that's what all men with more penises say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always think it's stupid though, you know, when like when somebody's rich and they've got a nice car because they're rich and they can afford a nice car. <laughs> Yep. People are like, oh, it must be because he's got a little dick. And it's like, as if that's the best thing, like, you know, that's the biggest, best insult they can think to, you know, for somebody that they're jealous of is he was just born somehow that he can't change. That'll show him. <laughs> it's like it's always freaked me out when people say, oh, you're tall, that's nice. Really? It was completely beyond my ability to change. So. Yeah. It's like when people call you small. So, um, <laughs> you born. should have grown more Muppet. That's you that is on you. Yeah. It's all my fault. <laughs> you chose to stop growing, it was a bad decision. And I, I okay. hope you're at peace with that now. <laughs> right, so why aren't we going anywhere as the elves? We oh. we We're oh. going backwards. Oh, oh we are. We're going the wrong way. Brilliant. Is this not the touchdown zone? It says touchdown. I mean, we, we've, we've got lots of nice blodge elves against a really ineffective undead team. Why are we not just out manoeuvring them and scoring at will? I, I don't know. I'm a bit confused. I mean, I think perhaps that death frightened us, maybe. I can see that. Yeah. And we're a little bit out of position with these two down the side, so perhaps we just want to get everything back and, and have another think as to how we do maybe it. Maybe we don't want to score too early, I guess. It's uh, yeah, maybe. still nil-nil. But now we've gone from what I call aggressive passive, where you're, you're you're moving off the opponent team, but you're staying right there. So they, they can't sort of push you into your backfield. They can't get around the side of you. And any mistakes in positioning, you're straight through and into their backfield. We've gone from that into more of a sort of uh, withdrawn offense, haven't we? Putting everybody back and the ball right back. Yeah. And just one death to something utterly irrelevant seems to have done that. I... <laughs> it's a dicker. <laughs> What? Are we fouling here? I'm scared of, that we might be fouling. No, no, it's not foul. It's just it, it's a weird place to stand, isn't it? But it's just gonna be dodging out of there and like screen okay maybe he is. Guess we go going on the pommer then, so he can't I get thought, an easy two dice. I thought this this lineman would have been two squares over there, and then yeah, him there, and then you've got a screen to screen off your mighty bow tackler. Like that oh. seems the obvious thing to do, doesn't it? 
There's yeah. just a, a small gap here. I don't know if you can see it. But... Yeah, there's, instead he's just left a gaping hole. <laughs> oh, gaping holes need filling, Jim. Um, the good thing about the gaping hole is the more undead that pile down there, the more I can outflank one side or the other. Yeah. And I've, he's got just enough elves on both sides of this uh, this boulevard he's created. <laughs> um, but I think he probably can go either way. <laughs> and isn't that a nice thing to say about people? Oh, yeah. We could call growers dick dackers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I so regret starting all of this, but it's keeping us entertained a lot more than the blood bowl is. So that's <laughs> it is there we are. worth something. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> this is what we talked about: adding some value as commentators, and not just saying, "Oh, look, a four. <laughs> yeah. Although I've never tried that. Perhaps it is fun. Yeah, maybe. Let's try it. No, that's not good. Yeah, Rumi can go either way, whichever way it is. You and I may feel that, Jimmy, Dimmy, but remember, uh, to Luminous, he's wearing a crash helmet right now. This is breakneck pace for him. <laughs> his, his heart is pounding. He's struggling to think at this crazy speed. Uh, we're hitting with the pommet. Let's go. Have <laughs> pom. Oh, Will Palm. Exactly. I haven't Literally seen a turn where this guy is not on the floor. You uh, marked him with a blodger and then marked him with a non dodge player so he could blitz him instead. <laughs> I don't like that. I am not anti rebel, Elpbeam. As I've said, I think it's a fantastic institution with a great name. One of the huge brands of Blood Bowl. I have nothing negative to say about them or their fantastic admin team. And this is a statement made entirely of my own volition. <laughs> Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> yeah, it really would go in, yeah. yeah really I haven't would. made a joke. I've just said nice things about them. They're a great <laughs> institution with a legendary name. <laughs> With an admin team, the rival of any that Blood Bowl could possibly produce. <laughs> Full in our action. Very good. <laughs> good. It is, isn't it? There you go. This is long, isn't it? This is long. Ten past eleven now. Could be worse. Could be longer, Jimmy. Could be you playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. This is much better than me having to play. Now, from a fairly dominant position, I don't hate the, the position that the uh, undead have left themselves in here. End the fucking turn, man! Reasonably nice cover on both flanks. They haven't been tempted too heavily down that uh, that street down the middle of the elves that was left open for them. Yeah. Didn't even hate that foul. Yeah. Didn't love it, but didn't Speaking hate it. Get, didn't pop. We're fine. And the only uh, the only elf that's on the wrong side of my team is a complete rookie that's going to be very hard to get the ball to. Yeah. Yeah, everything's a 1 in 36, isn't it? Or even a 1 in 60 yeah. is a reroll, so it's, 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 it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's pretty decent. There's lots of threat. Um, I, I'm not crazy on both mummies being on one side. It seems obvious to me to try and uh, try and somehow push down the other side. But that sidestep guard in front of the strength 4 is a pain. I mean, it obviously you can go for the power, but it's still going for a 6. But he's, he's oh. yeah, I guess, and you've got you've got sidestep yourself, so it doesn't matter if you if you get stuck on the sideline, does it? No, I mean he can he can stick you onto the sideline, but yeah, there's not a lot of game in that for him. Okay, so he is trying to go the other way, but that one in nine's not going to help. Yeah, I've, I didn't hear that blitz because obviously he's got the nope. mighty blow tackle on a blood step go. That's yep. Deals with him, doesn't it? Well, except it didn't. So yeah. Was the angle the right angle? I mean, you could have blitzed from behind between where the ball is and it. 
Yeah. Uh, you had enough moves to do it, but perhaps he was looking to go somewhere else afterwards and full screen was, to get yeah. the ball into. I think that's probably the case. Yeah, I think he was. But we now that's a bit buggered. It's going to take a lot of two pluses, but I mean, it's only two pluses, isn't it? Yeah, they Gerald's never fail. Doesn't I've never seen a two trail. plus fail ever. I don't believe they do, Jim. I think there's a law against it, and I mean a, mm. a law of physics, not just a law of man. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's well, that's well known. They, you know, some people think that they should fail one in six times, but they're idiots because you definitely should never, ever, ever fail a two plus. <laughs> it's essentially free move. Yeah. Don't even notice the tackle zones. This is nice and safe. We've still got time. Um, we're more mobile than the uh, undead we're leaving on the other side of the pitch, so that's all right. Do we run up the slime as a threat? Or do we... I'd, certainly, I'd dodge him off and advance him a little bit. Not really as a scoring threat, but more as a... You have if to he deal with do it. About it. It's a place for me to head to next turn. You see what I mean? It's the start of my next staging post towards scoring, but... Yeah. We powered a goal, and we killed a goal. Well, yeah, the Strength 4 did get that power you were hoping for, Muppet. You shitter with your let's hit blodge pieces without tackle tactics. It worked. <laughs> yeah, well, one in six times, apparently it does work. <laughs> is Beauty in the East still alive? Yeah, I don't know. He's, he bought Top Bun, and Top Bun is still alive. So I like, I like that. Predator. <laughs> He's got top bun. That was his best player, I guess. Oh God. I guess. I guess. Uh, no. Gran Torino. No, and there is no more. There is no more beauty in the yeast. That was that was the best, <laughs> the best player name in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure about that hit because now Tackle's not on the goal. Look at Hancock. I'd have dodged fucking... off instead and left the Tackle on the goal. But... <laughs> not sure how much fucking time we will have left to live after this fucking end. <laughs> Lewis is doing his best to turn into a rebel game, isn't he? Fucking hell. You can tell he's a rebel coach, can't you? Can't you? Jesus. I mean, I think the real question is whether he's checking Reddit during turns for ideas. He's probably, you know, doing the, doing the standard rebel tactics of, you know, taking your dog for a walk, and putting in a crossword, meeting your friends and family, all these sort of things that you can be doing uh, during your turn. Do you not finish your crosswords? Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a nap, um, and then coach the second half of a turn. Yeah. <laughs> that must be the, what the people that play by email feel. <laughs> yeah. What? And it might go all the time, yeah. No, no throwers in Ari, and I don't like high elf throwers, to be fair. I Shit mean, if you want an yeah. early reader, sure. But after that, they're pretty much meh. And re-rolls on high elves are not expensive. It's, it's not. By the time you've paid the extra for the thrower and then put leader on him, you, you save about 20k, which is not that brilliant. Yeah. And then you've got a piece with pass, which is, you know... <laughs> Shot yourself in the foot there, didn't you, Dimmy, you prick? <laughs> 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 I mean... I mean, oh. Always oh, <laughs> oh, resort us back to the same command. Oh, <laughs> Nari and I, I actually I coach in the White Isle League on Fumble, the second longest lived league there behind only the Australians, the Southern Waste League. Uh, I coach a high elf team which now has about 300 games on and has won the Premier League three times. How many foes does that team have? Uh, at the moment. I think we've got one, um, because it's the age of bloat on Fumble, this is a 2,400 high elf team. Jesus. Uh, but in our peak, in our heyday, we had a lovely agility six thrower. Nice. 
Um, he wasn't really ever used for throwing once he got that much agility. He did other things. Yeah. But I would say for short drives, uh, and even for one turns, a thrower can be handy. The safe throw over the top of um, of your opponents can be useful. Yeah, it's not terrible. I I mean, I've taken high up throws before, but I think it's fine not taking them. Um, there is worse throwers to take. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it depends, Anarian. Um I mean, certainly people have said that, that I coach everything like dwarves. But then, you know, in Blood Bowl, actually, the, the pieces are all just the pieces. Um, if you're in a situation where your elves can be the dwarf, then sometimes it's sensible to, you know, high elves against pro elves. You're the you're the hitter in that matchup. You're the one with the armor. You're likely the one with the better hitters. So. <laughs> King Captain Chipolata. <laughs> we were talking about there's a TV show called Naked Attraction where women look at men. <laughs> well, and, and vice versa, but um, and then they're just naked, and uh, hence the title. And basically, no matter what happens with talking or anything, or whatever the body looks like, whatever the faces look like, whatever whatever they've got to say, the women just choose the bloke with the biggest cock <laughs> every time. <laughs> Do the guys have a uh, pre preference of choosing? Um, uh, no, I, I, men have many many uh, different desires, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, men just choose the one that looks most likely to give him a blowy. <laughs> I had a very good looking friend who went through about four or five years of specifically and deliberately dating quite unattractive girls. Uh, on the grounds that he knew they'd be grateful. Yeah. So it's... And hence, he could do just the most horrific things to them, and they'd be fine with it. Yeah, that's absolutely a valid tactic. <laughs> Talk about rosters, Lefe. Rosters. <laughs> Deep, flappy, fanny. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, coffee. Well, that's, you know, everyone has their own choices. <laughs> uh, a preference is a preference for a reason. Of course, if you say that to an American, they'll think you're after someone with a big booty. <laughs> yes. American fanny means arse. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the highlight of this match. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, something's bound to happen soon. Or, I mean, this turns looking I mean, I say soon, you know. In the next two minutes, I'm sure something will happen. If you take your scale from sort of the rise and fall of mountain <laughs> ranges, then this is going to be quite quick. That's <laughs> the fucking turn. Yeah, I mean, it's a possibility, but when there's two minutes left, why not spend it just looking at the pieces and deciding what you know, what you could do, what you didn't do, what you might do. I mean, there's a chance that at some point these high elves move. <laughs> Likely. They have high movement for a reason. I'm sure they'll I mean, use they've, it. They've still got a minute and a half left to consider what they do. Fuck. What did that actually do? That elf. It looks like he's just blocking the way. Um, yeah, but I mean, by moving him first. Yeah, it gives him a two die score. here to create a hole and run away. Yeah. It's not a bad move. It's now a two plus two plus. From just being gone, except yeah. the agility goal. Yeah, like th this was always the play, right? Except possibly doing the one D with the uh, with the wrestler first. Yep. But this way, by they can dodge away, can't they? The, the catcher can just dodge away, so this is kind of better. Because um, again, yeah. I mean, actually, Sergal put him in a reasonably tough spot, um, could, but yeah. with some holes in it. Yeah, but yeah, moving the moving the lineman in first doesn't achieve anything. But he wants him there later, so he might as well move him in first, for, I guess, in case he dub skulls right. So 
He's got his little screeny. No. Two pluses. And it's also because any fails here, these guys are nearer to just where the ball is, but it seemed unlikely there would be. But it is safer, and it's better to do safer things like that. Yeah. Now it's just a question of what do we rescue first? Um, yeah, I like the one, push champ for coming. Yeah, I like that too. It's a piece you desperately want available next game. I would now go with the piece on the edge by the mummy. Yes. Yeah. And then... It's only a 3 plus, 2 plus with rerolls. That should work. And even if it doesn't, better than getting surfed. And this guy can come to a very good spot, actually, can't he? Screening the whole thing off. Yeah. He definitely can. He can make that uh, plus agility ghoul irrelevant. Did he meet a base? Uh, no. I don't think he did, but it's I think fun, it's it? fine. Uh, I guess we'll see, it still works. Mm. Unless it's a sidestep blodge piece, it's yeah, it's not that dangerous. Yeah. And it yeah, is tighter good. than just, you know, relying on a, a screen and hoping a four plus a, a agility four can't get through it. Yeah, yeah, actually I like I like raising it, yeah. One in nine is the first block in the first few seconds of the turn. <laughs> into a into oh, one, one in nine is. and two I always win the game, GG well played. <laughs> Get now let's wait for Luminous to play for three minutes. <laughs> oh god, we are going to face a minute and a half before he does it, aren't we? Despite yeah. it being the easiest turn of his life. Yeah. Run Just ball this. to end zone, then other elves run too. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's doing it! Yes, wow! Keep going. Again, it's that breakneck time pressure. There'll be sweat on his brow as he does this. <laughs> Oh, dude, if only you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> that blitz off's nice and safe, keeps your good pieces out of range of his nasty pieces. No reason to do anything risky now, just run away and score. Keep your players for the next game. Yep, run the strength piece away. Oh, I think I'd, instead of screening the ball, I think I'd be screening the uh, the mighty blow piece. I wouldn't want that chipped, but I, it's really hard to think these undead are going to start doing a lot of damage now, isn't it? Yeah, he's still got his apple, hasn't he? So yeah. That'll lull him into a false sense of security. <laughs> yeah, they just like two pluses, they don't fail, do they, Jim? Yeah, exactly. Never, never happened before in history. And if it happens to you, then you're literally the most unluckiest person ever. I mean, you'd be say Dibby G for that to happen. Yeah, yeah that's just like... man in Blood Bowl. Yeah, 100%. You're the only one, Dimmy, the AI is, uh, the RNG has been specifically coded just to shit on you. It's your time living in France, Dimmy. You clearly upset someone. <laughs> and they have programmed this game. <laughs> That if anyone has the username Dimmy G, they will get significantly worse dice than other people. Boy, <laughs> just stay too long in France. I've seen the graphs. <laughs> Put them all on spreadsheets, he knows everything. He's still not. Uh, honestly, Jay Bazza Sergal Sergal did a good did a good thing to stop him, but then um, the Luminous rolled the dice, and they, you know they weren't particularly hard dice, but he got them and got past, and then Sergal uh, rolled a one in eighty one, and he was fucked. He started the turn with a, a block without block. Oh. But to be fair, he only wanted to push on it. Return yeah. stop that one in nine fail being a possible one in nine fail because he could have dodged the piece off, um, and yeah. <sighs> It was unlucky, and lots of people say, oh, that was terrible, you should never start with a non-block piece. Well, unless it's the answer to how everything gets where you want it to be, in which case, you do start with one. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And actually, weirdly, I didn't hate that as a first action, yeah. uh, because it did free up the blodge guard, which allowed this uh, this sort of attack somewhere near where the ball is. But, I mean, the, you know, the game's over, so it gives a shit anyway. But it, it wasn't terrible. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Every so often it doesn't work. Yeah. 
Wiley, you're just struggling for sleep, or...? <laughs> you want everyone to hate Blood Bowl? Um... <laughs> no, look, these High Elves aren't terrible, and they've been coached reasonably well, this game. Yeah. I didn't yeah. particularly like the withdrawal, but I think since then it's been good. That was the one turn I didn't love, but everything else has been alright. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't like the uh, reroll usage in the first half. But... No, I didn't like that, but it's a it's a it's a choice, and it wasn't terrible. It, well, yeah, it wasn't I a bad choice. choice. <laughs> Just... Would have done something different. Yeah, I mean, I felt it was a choice I wouldn't take, but I could understand why he did. Yeah, I didn't. Hate um, it. And these high elves are okay. I mean, you know, we could easily see them win any game they're put in front of, but. The lack of guard, you do think, is a problem, and it, it might catch up with them. Yeah. Um, when you compare it to Elliot's team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no contest. Yeah, Hell still haven't won the chance, that's true, and maybe never will. Why are we not moving the ball? Oh, I see, Lee. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I mean, they're they're a strong race. They should do eventually. They they develop very slowly, but once they get up to around 1,900, 2,000, they're as, as good as anything. Yeah. And obviously, they have to... Them there, that's challenging. They are definitely one of the more advanced elf races. They also have the problem with needing doubles for guard, which you've seen in this team. Yep. But and yeah, high teams, team. which is just rude. <laughs> in like in in the fantasy land high TV, they're great because they they've got what they're like dark elves with one turning, aren't they? Yeah. But in real in in real life land, the you know the you take rem casualties like you know attrition and the fact that dark elves have six players that are one still away from being you know really nice blood for Rog. Um, it's just it's just huge, isn't it? Because you know if you lose it, you know you've got to lose developed catches and stuff, and it's such a long road to to get them back. Yes, absolutely. I mean the catches on high elves can be absolutely beautiful, but they start weak as kittens. Yeah. I mean all they've got on their side is speed, really. Yeah. Um, uh, apart from this team, because they have minus movement everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is just a dark elf team, really, with some minus <laughs> AB. <laughs> I mean, I've slightly never understood why, particularly when dark elves get two witches and two assassins, which no one takes, but they could. Why it isn't the high elves with four blitzers and the dark yes. elves just with two and two witches and two assassins and two runners? That seems like plenty of positionals to me. Yes, it would totally make sense. It would, it would also make a difference between high elves and pro elves more, wouldn't it? Yep. And you could also cut the high elf um, catches then too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, high elves are like the heavier. A bigger difference to pro elves. Yeah, and yeah, and high elves are like the big team, like the heavy team in like you know Warhammer, aren't they? You know, they've got dragon princes and everything. And, and then dark elves would have to find a use for either runners or assassins. <laughs> or rely more on their witches, and I think that would make it more interesting to be a dark elf coach too. Yeah. Though I accept they would drop in power, and obviously high elves would rise in, rise in power. Yeah. But I, I think, that personally, I think that would be a lovely change. It would give both teams a stronger identity. Yes, absolutely. Mm. So, again, I'm trying to look for ways this game isn't over, but it's it's over and it's done. Yeah. He could get a magic riot to get a two-turn, and then it would go into overtime and no one's got rules. Well done, Muppet. You're right. A riot is probably our best answer. I don't see this uh, this undead team one-turning. But I a I want Circle to lose and b I want this match to be over. So <laughs> he doesn't shut want up, Muppet. Muppet. <laughs> As Volk would say, shut up, Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are Doodra Dude. Uh, Doodra Dud. They are lots and lots of fun. They're so cheap. Uh, they're really slow, but they're so just capable of doing all sorts of things and yet they fall apart like like a Dimmy G excuse in Among Us it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it went good day Nick <laughs> um, Hiru Gestionador whatever you want to call him he, uh, he didn't induce a wizard and 
probably felt like he should have done for about 16 turns, and then he lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his inducement strategy felt entirely wrong to all of us. Yeah. Um, and considering those are, I accept, two very, very good coaches, Bob Bell too, um, they, it, it was a bit disappointing at times. Well, the uh, one turn is looking less likely with the sidestep on the other. Yeah. Which I don't think is necessary. I don't think this guy's one turning anyway, but. No, I will definitely not do that. Holy shit. He's still got a path, hasn't he? So. Yeah, fucking hell, man. As we all know, no one can get injured whilst you've got an apothecary. <laughs> yeah. And a puffs can't fail. Nope. I really don't think and, it's worth uh, Particularly with a dead elf, you know, it's fine to risk a few more. <laughs> so, yes, unfortunately, Gastoniador versus uh, Mank is a little bit disappointing. Uh, Mankis did not get any stuff killed. That didn't happen. Um, I mean, they... neither team got anything killed. Really. No, no. Which was kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very unviolent. Un <laughs> it was weird. They have been a bit dimmy, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. That was shit. <laughs> but that's alright, these are the early rounds, you know, these these teams will get to know them, we'll we'll get to love them, and then we'll see them smashed up by some chaos. <laughs> or by Crucifer's Chaos Dwarves. I mean, I've seen that he's in the cup, I haven't checked, I'm just assuming it's Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> Now, I like this. We've set for the Riot, which is our best chance of getting into the game, so we should... Oh, no, we're on setting for the Riot. No, we are setting for the Riot. Good. Who's picking up the ball if it goes all the way back here? Details. <laughs> It'll be a touchback, so let's not worry about it. <laughs> okay. So, a defence like this, uh, Zelu Donio, is to stop the, uh, is to stop the one turn. So, aha, here we go. I've got I've got the link here, look. Um for from K Fog. He's made a series on one turning. Um so yeah, that the idea is like you know, with side if they didn't have sidestep, I don't know obviously how new you are to Blood Bowl or anything. Um if they didn't have sidestep then you could blitz them and chain your own players forward to score in one turn. Um and by having sidesteps on the LOS and this guy's here it means you can't, you know, it's just harder to, to fill in all the things and everything. Um, quite easily if you set up Crapley. If you set up Crapley, Zaludonio, quite easily. <laughs> but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, this is basically impossible, yeah. I, I would be, I would feel confident enough that Serga would be incapable of doing it. So I, would, I wouldn't set up to stop it. But if it was like K-Fog and if it was for a million pound, then I'd probably set up to stop it. <laughs> well, I mean, I would set up to stop it. But I also think once you put your three sidestep on the line of scrimmage, my major worry would not be the one turning, it would be the riot. Yeah. yeah exactly. So then I would probably have a couple in each wide zone and a couple central to sort of funnel them into the middle of the pitch if they do push forwards. Yeah. A riot. That's um, a good shout. But, you know, again, this is the, there's reasons why he's in this shape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The riot nice didn't come, um, so uh, Sergal decided not to do some hitting. Yeah. And we are all freed. Uh, sorry, and the game has ended. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Um, congratulations, Luminous Light. Good ridden, Sergal. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Purple Chest. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Muppet Pac-Man. No problem. Thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>